So you're an agency owner, and I wanted to ask, how cool will it be if you could turn every single client that you get into a partner that equates to the sum of around six figures each? That means you would only have to work with maybe one client per month, right? How awesome would it be to have all that time on your hands and freedom? No nagging, no none of the BS, and you only have to set up systems and you be able to profit as if you had many clients, but you only have one at a freaking time. Why get a, a hundred, one thousand, two thousand dollar per month clients when you can have one at a time that you can pull six figures from? In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Uh, I showed you the nine monetization methods for how to monetize a client or a partner properly in the last video, but we're going to go more in depth and explain and break them down uh, here as we got the effort job. What's the name? At any time, you can go and you can study my agency page. Uh, you might not have heard about it, but a lot of the incognito stuff that I do in my agency, because I was trying to build my school, Anti-Job University, but the agency side makes a crap load more. I, I've been getting clients since like almost 2015, but now we get partners. Let me explain. <clears throat> so number one, you can take these partners, guys, is people that want to be in the business that they're in, right? Is people that wish that they knew how to start a business, just like a lot of you guys, right? So you can take this restaurant owner, you can take this plumber, you can take this roofer, you can take this magician, this private chef, it doesn't matter. You interview them for an hour to two hours, get all of the details of how they started, how they begun, where they are now, when problems come up, what do they do and all of that. You turn that into a course. You can use AI to turn it into a course, it does not matter, but you turn it into a course. Now that is another passive income stream for you and them. You use their ad budgets. It could be a tiny budget, 25 bucks a day, 10 bucks a day. And you target the people in their city that are interested in starting businesses, interested in jobs, careers, all of that extra stuff, just graduating college and everything. And you can sell a lot of courses for that client or a partner for you and them, and you can profit from that. So that's one way that we create an extra income stream for our partners. Told you, we do things different at the profit position in agency that other agencies don't do. They can never compare us and say, oh, we heard that before. No, you're not. Okay, so now next, in our agreement, because we don't make anybody sign any type of contracts, that stuff is dead, okay? In our agreements, we get them to agree to be our, we want to be their dedicated funding partner. So we have uh, uh, loan companies and financing companies that we partner with, whether it's a, a car dealership, whether it's real estate funding, whatever it is. So whenever their customers or them get finance or funded, whether that's for equipment or just to make purchases, it doesn't matter. We get a commission off of that. And the funny thing about it, guys, is whenever you want to upsell them some other services or whatever, they get a funding uh, uh, plan for that. You get a cut from them getting the loan and from them paying you for the upsell service that you have. Super freaking genius. I know, I know, I know, right? So next we have the tools that you're going to be using to automate it. So in the link in my description, a lot of you guys use ClickFunnels and all of these different weird stuff, right? But we can get the job done with Builderall. Builderall is an all-in-one marketing suite tools and everything, automating WhatsApp. You can automate their Instagram. You can automate their Facebook Messenger when ads are running. You can do all of that extra stuff, all of that, right? So <laughs> in Builderall, we, we just do that. And the good thing about every single tool that we use to get them results, guys, we only use tools that have affiliate programs. OK, so a lot of y'all was asking me about that, like what in income streams do you have and all of that stuff? We only use tools that have affiliate programs. What's the point of you bringing so much uh, uh, attraction to some company and they don't you? An affiliate program shows that you appreciate the efforts, time, money, skills of the people that introduce you to new customers. So only deal with the automation tools or the outrage uh, prospecting results tools that have affiliate programs. OK, now next. 
what we do with these partners, guys, and this is possibly one of the most powerful parts of what we do. A lot of y'all have heard in the past that the money is in the list, right? The money is in the list. And this is true. What kind of list? SMS list, messenger list, email list, all type of different freaking lists, right? Social media lists, it does not matter. The money is in the list. Why? Because you can follow up, you can upsell, you can offer different offers and, and, and marketing tools and everything to their list. So the good thing about what we do, guys, since we're partnering with them instead of getting them as traditional clients like a lot of y'all do, is we have more creative freedom. Since we're not wrenching their pockets every single month, in their mind, you know, like, oh, we we got to keep all of this in our pocket. All these other agencies want five, ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars a month. We get to keep that in our pocket and grow. But what they don't realize, or maybe they realize and just don't care, is that you're growing when they grow. Every time they get a sale, you get a sale. Every time they get a lead, it splits. You get that email as well. So you can market, you can remarket to whoever comes in on that email list. You can uh, 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 send them other offers, CPA offers, paper call offers, affiliate offers, or whatever that is. So your list from day one of working with them, guys, you're creating, you're building a targeted list based off of the traffic they were already getting. So let's say if they're ranking in the snack pack, the Google snack pack, the Google My Business list listings, and they're getting uh, 20, 30, or maybe even 50 visitors per day, guys. And 10 to 20 of those people opt in to the email form if you properly create, uh, you know, optimize the page or whatever for them. Now you got 10, 20 dang on people on your email list today. Imagine how many that people, how many of those people will be on your list at the end of the year. And that is yours to do with what you want to do with, what to promote them to them or whatever, whatever you want to promote to them is your freedom. Right. Because you're a partner. You have much as, as much right to ownership as the actual business itself. They're doing a fulfillment. You're doing a promotion. Is that simple? This is your way to buy into a business without buying into a business monetarily. OK, so that's the powerful part of like having control of their sites and assets and everything, guys. You can plug in the traffic that they already have and start being profitable from day one. And we're going to get to that. OK, so now I know you guys have never heard of this before. At any time, you can go to the ProfitPositioningAgency.com site. You can study uh, some of my more obvious business models. I can't tell you what the marketing monopoly is. That is what makes me the only. OK, you want to create an offer on your site up to a million freaking dollars, right? That positions you as the only. When you reach out to them, how can they differentiate you from anybody else? How can they say, oh, well, I ain't never been, you know, I ain't never heard of nothing like this, right? Okay, so now, anyway, uh, next, you want to create uh, a, a plan to resell their failed leads. So I mentioned Zillow, I mentioned... Uh, uh, freaking home advisor, but they got Angie's list. We have a whole bunch of different companies, right? Where when a lead comes in, guys, like is Yelp, Yelp can do this too, like in their own business ways, right? A lead will come in, thumbtack, a lead will come in for whatever that niche is, and they're on a timer immediately. They send that same lead, they send a notification to all of them and they have to pay to unlock that freaking lead and be able to call that lead. So even if somebody else already reached out to that lead too late, they paid too late. They paid. It was 20 bucks per lead and they sent it to, to 10 people. That's 200 bucks that Thumbtack made. I think I did the math right on that. Right. So now if that if they want that lead exclusively, then they have to pay for exclusive leads, which is way more pricey. So basically, you can do this same business model ethically, and you resell the failed leads. What do I mean by that? Now you're not doing exactly what Thumbtack them is doing. They're just sending a, whatever the lead is to a million people. You only want to resell the failed leads, meaning your partner already talked to them, tried to service them, but couldn't help them. Maybe they're uh, outside their location or maybe they're outside their pricing bracket or, or they dealt with them before and they just don't like them or something like that, right? So you get to take that failed lead through the partnership and resell it to another business owner 
that is in that same niche in that same area that can service them. And, and this does multiple things, guys. This gives confidence to the customer that couldn't get service from you before, but also it makes sure that customer gets help. And on time, on the same time, it introduces you to another potential partner. Your first impression with this new guy is that you're sending them a lead. All right. They're like, hold on. I don't even know you, but you're sending me a lead. Right. OK, so now we got drop servicing. If you weren't in my Godfather drop servicing course, then you probably don't know what I'm talking about. But another word for this is service arbitrage. This is where you act as the third party. What am I talking about? When you go to cheap o air, uh, price line negotiator or, or any of those type of flight trip type websites, they don't own any planes. They don't own any boats or any of that stuff. When you go to uh, uh, Zillow, they don't own any properties or anything. But when you go to Airbnb, they don't own any hotels or any vacation rentals, yet they make a piece of every single transaction that goes on on their platform. That is drop servicing. You're promoting as a third party somebody else's property, product, or service. And when it actually converts, you get a cut. So you do that with your partner's sites. So you choose the pricing. Maybe you bump it up a little bit. That way they, you don't cut into their margins. But you also add value. That way you're not overpricing the customer. I teach you how to do this stuff in the Godfather drop servicing model. Um, but yeah, guys, that's that's what I'm talking about, right? So next, this one is one of my favorites because this allows you to start making money from day one that your partner agrees to this. Okay, this is plugging in a POS system for them, a new POS system in a virtual gateway. A POS system is called point of sale. For example, when you go to the gas station, all right, you start telling them what you want. Pump one, you want 10 on pump one, you cheap punk. Now nah, I'm just playing. All right, <laughs> you see them touch a screen, uh, plug that in and then they tell you, OK, that'll be blank. And then you swipe your freaking credit card if you went into the store. What they was typing in on that computer screen or whatever, that's called the point of sale system. All right. Where they can collect your payment. Soon as you uh, swipe that credit card, they collect the payment. But the credit card processing company also gets a cut of that. OK, so if you pay 10 on pump uh, uh, five then they probably get seven or eight bucks. And then the credit card processing company actually gets the remainder, which would probably be two or three bucks, however much it is, right? And guess what? If you are the one that plugged in that POS system for it, now everybody that swipes that credit card, that uh, transaction fee does not only go to the credit card processing company, but they have to split 50-50 with you. So if 100 people comes into that dang on gas station that day, you get a cut of the transaction fee from 100 people that you didn't even send. They was just driving off the freaking highway. Okay. Or the same thing with the restaurant, the retail shop, the flower shop, the whatever, the dental office, interior decorator, whoever you plug in this POS system, right? So it takes a couple of days, maybe in a, even a week for the physical POS system to get there. So you'll wait for that to come in. But as soon as it's plugged in, you start making money that exact day just off of the foot traffic that is coming through to that business. Now, the powerful part that you can start profiting from day one with them is their website. If they already have a website that has traffic to it, if they're already ranking for some certain keywords that get good traffic volume when you meet them. So you don't want to deal with bums. I know all of the marketing agency gurus and all of that stuff teach you to go after people that are in a state of detriment and they're about to close their doors and they really, really need you. Well, OK, now you got a lot of work to do. Right. But if you go have the people that are already doing decently, at least already getting some traffic, whether that's from TikTok, Instagram, it does not freaking matter. Right. If they're getting traffic on their site, then you can plug, you can replace their PayPal or their Stripe payment button with your customized virtual gateway. And whenever a transaction happens on the website, you get a slice of the freaking pie, 50% of that transaction fee. Boom, you already know. So next up, 
If you do this properly, create this partnership with them, then you can simply create an app from the website. You can go on Fiverr and pay five, 10 bucks and they could just convert the website to an app. And then you plug it in on their site or you can put this on their menu. You can do it in the HR, uh, uh, HR code, whatever you want to do, guys. Get them to incentivize their current existing customers to start downloading this app because they're going to get specials if they download this app. Free drinks, free offers, uh, uh, um, you know, night on whatever it is, blah, blah, blah. Incentivize them. Tell them to do whatever they got to do to incentivize them to download this app. Why? Because then whenever lunchtime comes up, whenever dinner time, whenever breakfast time up, you can push you can push out messages to whoever has that app download just on tap. You're on their phone. People don't go anywhere without their phone. So they're going to get a push notification like, yo, we got bacon and eggs for breakfast. We right around the corner from you. Come in. You're going to get free coffee and orange juice with it. Boom. That don't cost them nothing. Now they got regular customers versus always trying to get new customers to come through and new customers on top of that through the other ways of marketing that you're going to help them with. On top of that, so how you're going to monetize from that is it's going to be ads on the mobile app, of course, and you can push notification them other offers and stuff that you have that you can cross promote from that business. For example, the course that you're going to create for this business. This is craziness. I know. I know. And that's why I wanted to do it, because we have to be different. So don't ask me how many clients I got. I don't want a million clients and you shouldn't want them either because clients are jobs. Clients are other jobs. But if you can take one partner and pull six figures out of them strategically. And when I say strategically, you want this to be painless to them. You don't want them to have to slice their prices on some Groupon type stuff. You don't want to have them have them change up their operations uh, drastically where it's uncomfortable to work with you. The way that I do this is seamless. It's seamless. They they don't even really notice anything besides the, the interview and maybe switching out the, the payment gateway. That's it. That's all that will take maybe a couple hours of their time and then make them a crazy amount of money when we ramp things up and make us a crazy amount of money when we ramp things up. Now we're literally growing when they grow. Not that game they be trying to spit at you when they only paying you $500 a damn month. Now, because it's going to be in-app in purchases on that app too, right? So now check this out. They have a reputation to uphold. So one of the ways that you can instantly monetize this partner is by placing AdSense on their already traffic-filled websites. Okay, now what do I mean by that, guys? All right, so they have social medias uh, that they're, they're probably posting to. They already have a marketing guy, majority of them. So they're already getting traffic to their sites, probably. Okay, even through partnerships or joint ventures or something, they're getting traffic to their sites. So how do you get money the first day you start working with them? Okay, well, guess what? If you are the one that replaced their site with a better conversion rate optimized website as a gift. And you can do this with a template so you ain't building from scratch every dang on day. Just get one built that's gonna be perfect conversion opti rate, uh, rate optimized for all of them. Change the coloration and all of that every time you get a new partner, blah, 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 boom. Okay, so now you control the flow of when leads come in. You control the flow of what happens when a person opts in, if it goes to an upsell or if it goes to a thank you page. This is what you do. This is the magic for the thank you page. You add AdSense to the thank you page. If they're getting crazy amount of traffic, if they're already running ads from some other loser agency that then came through, no offense, <laughs> then they're funding you to get money. But it doesn't interrupt the transaction process. A person comes to the website as normal. They buy as normal. But then when it redirects them to a thank you page, if you don't have anything to upsell on that thank you page, you just place AdSense on there. Put some images of some food that they have or whatever it is, blah, blah, blah. They're going to click on it, right? So you have all these different ways. If you take your time, stop being so desperate to get anybody at a thousand or 500 bucks. Trust me, I've been there. I've like went through things even recently that was like, yo, Maybe I should switch this up, but don't do it. Don't listen to that freaking voice, man. 
you keep this perfect business model because it's perfectly uh, structured to monetize a client. And then when you're getting them good results, which, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like the good thing about what I like to do is I like to productize my results, meaning I'll teach somebody on their staff how to do it. We'll create a course. When you go to profitpositioningagency.com, you'll see majority of my services have been productized on some assembly line type stuff that's going to still get them awesome results. All right. So when they go and plug in a lot of this stuff on their own, like it's pat, like I don't have to do anything. But if I was to have to do something, then we really got to like <laughs> partner. Like if I if I got to have my VAs or me do something, then I'm definitely plugging in a lot of this because I'm going to be your partner. You're never going to be my client. I don't really want no clients. They can call themselves what they want, but I want power in the relationship, too. OK, you ain't just tossing me away. Right. OK, so add an AdSense on the thank you page, guys. That's powerful. There are courses and books like I have the profit positioning book on my site right now on the profit positioning agency dot com. I strongly suggest you guys go and read that. It explains what the market monopoly is. That's what sets me apart. But, you know, I'm, you know, the market monopoly, I charge but two hundred thousand dollars for that. Right. Uh, but it just even though I won't tell you how to do the market monopoly, it'll show you how to structure an offer to where you can charge 200 to a million freaking dollars for a specific offer or a service or whatever it is at your agency. So you're not dealing with a million freaking people. OK, love you guys.